Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Fan Tracks Podcast, coming to you from fanboysanonymous.com. I am your host, Tony Mango, and with me on the panel this evening, we have Chris Dace. I eat stickers all the time! And Mike Payton. Uh, what are the odds that that was the exact line I was going to use? <laughs> it's a good line, though, from the best episode of the show, I think. The show that we're talking about, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and the episode that we're going to be doing for this episode of Fan Tracks is The Gang Squashes Their Beefs. Season 9, episode 10, original air date, November 6, 2013. Ah, oh, those were the days. <laughs> the good old days of 2013. Mm-hmm. So we're keeping with our Thanksgiving theme that we are uh, doing a couple other episodes of Fan Tracks with. And if you are unfamiliar with what Fan Tracks is in general, it's a commentary track that we're giving you guys to listen to while you can watch the episode of the show that we had just mentioned. And uh, we're, you know, we're just going to crack some jokes. We're going to talk about some different things going on in the episode, all from the perspective of fanboys, because we like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And why not, you know? So how this works for your side of things, though, to sync up with us and make sure that you're following along at the right time. We're going to give you a countdown of 3, 2, 1, play. And then that's when you can hit your play button on whatever streaming service or DVD or file that you have that you're going to be watching this on we have no ads so don't take those into account and when we're going to start it's going to be right at the very beginning with the time date that they usually have at every uh, episode of it's always sunny philadelphia so keep that in mind when we do that countdown hit that play button get ready get all your snacks situated and anything else like that and come back and figure out when you're going to hit the play button right now three two one play. One o'clock p.m. on a Wednesday. Wednesday. Wonder where they classify like on a Wednesday. Do they just pick randomly, or? Well, it's important because it's the middle of the week, so they should be working, but they're hanging out at a video store instead. Well, that and it's before Thanksgiving, so. Ah, good point. Yeah, Tony. So. <laughs> Trying to point out flaws, and we just gave you two perfectly good reasons. <laughs> Always naysaying. I don't think it's a flaw. I just find it interesting. Like, wonder why they pick certain days, or like, why is it one o'clock or something? Like boils. The good old days when video stores were still available. Uh. <laughs> I definitely like uh, Leo McBoyle one of the best like side characters I don't know how you can specify any of them His struggle is so great. <laughs> Transition music rules. It's all royalty free, too. How ironic that we were watching uh, a thing and talking about the death of video stores on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, my two favorite characters on the show were Charlie and Frank. Yeah, they're absolutely the two best. Dennis is close behind. Yeah. D is useless. D's a bird. (laughs) Turkey of this episode. Wawa. Wawa. Nice. Wawa does have good fucking sandwiches, though. Kudos to Dennis's hair here. Looking good. I was too busy admiring Frank's hair. (laughs) I love this. (whistles) 
Dude. They somehow make Philadelphia look like an interesting place to go to. It's not people. <laughs> yeah, they're not filming like the back alleys and shit. Yeah. Like I'd if you made a once. left there on that road, you'd get stabbed. Yeah. Which I've done. You've gotten stabbed on that road? <laughs> no, I visited it once. Yeah, Philly, uh, I think it's a shithole. Yeah, yeah. Even when you're like going around the perimeter of it, you just see it in the distance. It's like, wow, that looks fucking awful. I don't want to go in there. Mm-hmm. I like how Mac is always this like, you got to go with religion, you got to keep family together. Like, they're all terrible people, but Mac's like trying. He's still got a conscience. Yeah. He doesn't act on it much, but... (laughs) (laughs) Dee might be a bird, but I still think she's attractive. She got more attractive. Yeah. Yeah, after she got pregnant and she got a little fat. Yeah. Only not fat because it just made her look normal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a... am I am I objectifying women? <laughs> There's a lot of theories going thing. around that Dennis is an actual serial killer, the way that he manipulates people and stuff. I could see that. He definitely was ready to kill a girl in that uh, that episode when he was dressed up as the painter. Yeah. This guy. That, that episode, they bought the boat, and he kept going on about how he's going to make them do what they want. He, like he wants. The implication. Yeah. I love those Tony jokes, though. We're going to wipe the slate clean and all that. Good song. And dance moves. He painted that. Liam's got the best dance moves. <laughs> I love the background. Look at Dennis dancing. Ugh. Riggedy. He might be the best supporting character. And he's one of the like uh writers, right? One of the writers or one of the directors or maybe both or something? I think he's the choreographer. <laughs> the choreographer of those sweet dance moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which they only really use in like this episode. Treaty. <laughs> He's such a creepy looking bastard. And then the zoom in just makes it better. <laughs> Gotta pay the troll. I like how much Danny DeVito has really just embraced how much of like a gross old man. <laughs> and he started off as like a businessman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least they kind of worked it into the show, though, that he like he wanted to be more like them. Mm-hmm. He kind of like went down the rabbit hole and just never came back up. Let me use that now. Haunch it. (laughs) 
Ik wil dus zeggen, ja, ik. Oh, so creepy. He's, he's creepy as hell. Yeah, and this is the second time where a Thanksgiving's been ruined by an apology. Oh, great soundtrack. And dance moves. And they're still just eating crackers. He's And he's still drinking, drinking uh, straight up vodka. And Cricket can't even eat the skin. <laughs> There's Gail the snail. She's definitely another one of those really creepy characters, Gail mm -hmm. the snail. The worst is like, outside of the slobbery part, I think pretty much everybody knows somebody who that's what reminds her of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it when they run around and just salt her. My brother acts like that. <laughs> What rhymes with Justin that we could do the Gale Snail with? <laughs> mm, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> the stare down is perfect. <laughs> I wonder how many crackers they ate when they were filming this. <laughs> it's kind of weird that old people are like that though they yeah. should have a lot more in common and they don't seem to ever want to acknowledge it <laughs> yeah. Wow. Money. <laughs> you try to burn me. Poor cricket. And he actually thinks about it too. Yeah. He still got that mark on his neck from when he got cut open by the trash can. I do want to hunt somebody. Wish I knew a cricket. <laughs> Later. <laughs> nice save. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Such terrible people. <laughs> this guy not only played a uh, douchebag in this, but he played another douchebag in Big Bang Theory.
They really do have a lot more beefs than show up in this episode. Though they've ruined so many different lives. <laughs> what? It is. actually looks pretty cool. Flashbacks to Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Yeah. His rolls are good. So I got quite a bit of crackers left. Yeah, she's picking her nose. <laughs> she's got a little snail, yeah. Yeah, stupid snail. Salter. food actually looks pretty good. Yeah, the rolls look good. Yeah. That big lump of uh, whatever orange stuff that is doesn't really open is mac and cheese. I think it's sweet potatoes. Charlie gets into it. I like it. <laughs> What's that meat that they have? Good reference to an old episode. Yeah. <laughs> Compliments her. Perfect. <laughs> Look at Frank. He, he's like unimpressed. Random uh, Hulk fist in the background. I didn't notice that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <more cash. laughs> <laughs> he compared blow to squash. The man. Stop mashing. <laughs> Mac always acts like such a child when he gets uh, his plans are out of order. We're out of order here. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, just jump into it. Embrace. Oh, that looks so disgusting on Frank. (laughs) Cricket. (laughs) <laughs> Poor guy always gets hurt. So this is how Thanksgiving actually happens. <laughs> all those different TV shows are all about the families getting together and giggling over Thanksgiving stuff. Nah. Yeah, he's a serial killer. (laughs) (laughs) See, he's got these plans. 
Maybe that's how the show ends. Dennis just kills all the other ones. <laughs> yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> That's such a great line. That was a great line. Aww. Thanksgiving from it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> A really uh, divisive show. It seems like if you are a terrible person, then you tend to love it. If not, you think it's horrible. I guess I'm an awful person. Yeah, we're all terrible people. Oh, I know I am. I would have locked them in there. <laughs> I cannot wait for Thanksgiving so I can have turkey and mashed potatoes and nose clams. <laughs> <laughs> so I can have Wawa. I think I'm going to pick a relative this year and just start staring at them as just across the room. Like, this this is my beef. Nibble on crackers. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I get a handy under the table. <laughs> she, she's just moshing it. Yeah, she does that. <laughs> All right, that is the episode, everybody. Thanks for listening in. Stay tuned to the next episode of Fan Tracks whenever that's coming your way. Thanks for watching. <laughs>